Hi everybody, I'm Josh the RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. There's nothing in this cup, it's just a prop. You can see it's completely empty. And while we like to have a little fun around here at Halid RV, one thing that is no joke is taking care of your investment. And that's why I want to talk to you about RV covers. We've had chats like this in the past, but um, that was a couple years ago. Uh, we've actually gone to a little different supplier since then. We've gone actually back to using the uh, Adco variety here. We've just found really good service records with them. They've made some changes in their, their covers that have held up fantastically. Uh, there's different varieties though. It's like anything else. You get what you pay for and you're going to get out of it what you put into it, just like taking care of your camper, which that's kind of what we're talking about right here, is giving back to your investment and taking care of your RV. So here at our store, we live in the Midwest. We get all four seasons in very even quantities. It gets hot, it gets cold, it gets windy, it gets icy, it gets snowy, rainy, and it gets sunny. Uh, that's more than four things, obviously, but you get the idea. We really prefer the all climate designer series from Adco for a few reasons. Uh, it's the, the cover it has a three year warranty, which is fantastic. It's breathable, so when it rains, it'll let that breathing out. Or if it's snowy and then melts off, it will again let that moisture breathe out so you don't have a mold factory in a petri dish under your cover. Because unlike Bill Nye the science guy, I'm not interested in having a science experiment in my backyard. Um, there are less expensive covers, like you'll see one that'll say like uh, rain or moderate climate or something like that. If you say live in a, in a more of a like all sunshiny place, it doesn't get snowy or anything like that, like Tennessee South. I know some areas of Tennessee can get some good snow up in the hills, but uh, if you're going to be just concerned about protecting it from the sun, maybe you don't need the old climate variety, but for the money difference, it's not that big of a gap. I think that you'd be really happy with what you get there. So. Here's the thing, here's why this is such a big deal, taking care of your investment. Um, when people are in the used market, one of the things that we talk about is, has it had leaks, has it had problems? The vast majority of RV leaks are actually due to lack of ownership, care, maintenance, upkeep, etc. Well, anything like this that is going to reduce the amount of care, maintenance, and upkeep that you have to apply to your trailer is going to pay you back dividends. And I've never seen a better example than a couple years ago, we took in a 2011 Cougar fifth wheel and a 2012 Cougar fifth wheel on trade in the same week, same floor plan. The 2011 had been kept under a cover. The skin was still gleaming white. The decals looked factory fresh. All the original factory seals were still viable. Meanwhile, the 2012 looked like it had sat in a toaster oven for its entire lifespan. The skin was yellow, the decals were yuck, and uh, the seals needed help. We gave more money on trade for the older 2011 that had been undercover in its lifetime than for the 2012 and sold for more money, the 2011 that was older than the 2012. Two identical RVs, one year apart, older one worth more because it was protected. So one of the most common questions is, what size do I need? Uh, how do I measure it? And it's actually, it, it's like the simplest thing possible. You're literally just overthinking. You start right up here at the nose of the trailer. Whether it's the uh, tip of a fifth wheel nose cap, whether it's a toy hauler, travel trailer, doesn't matter. The furthest point on the body forward, not the hitch pin of a fifth wheel, just the body. Then we measure all the way back here to the rear wall. And the only difference here is you either measure to just the back of the rear wall or to a ladder or to a spare tire. You always make sure that you're at the furthest point back. So if you have any questions, give our parts specialists here at Halid RV a call. We'll answer your questions, we'll get one mailed out to you, lickety split, no sweat. Short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.